Hey, welcome back to the Gospel of Luke this morning. We're at Luke chapter 9, verses 51 through 56. I'll read it out here. Now it came to pass when the time had come for him to be received up, that he steadfastly set his face to go to Jerusalem. And he sent messengers before his face. And as they went, they entered a village of the Samaritans to prepare for him. But they did not receive him because his face was set for the journey to Jerusalem. And when his disciples James and John saw this, they said, Lord, do you want us to command fire to come down from heaven and consume them just as Elijah did? But he turned and rebuked them and said, You do not know what manner of spirit you are of. For the Son of Man did not come to destroy men's lives but to save them. And they went to another village. Oh, look at that ending to that. Uh, they, they had kind of this plan, well, you know, let's call fire down from heaven. Let's repeat what Elijah did. And uh, we'll, we'll, you know, we'll get up on the box here and watch the, watch the, uh, the fireworks. That wasn't the plan. Look at the ending. The ending is just, you know, and they went on to another town. Very anticlimactic ending. Jesus had set his face to go to Jerusalem. The, the father is leading him. He knows he's going to go there and, be, and, and die for as a sacrifice for all humans. And they go to prepare the way in the Samaritan villages. And the village, when they hear that he's going to Jerusalem, he's not going to Samaria. He's passing through Samaria, but he's on his way to Jerusalem. The Samaritans are, are, are really uh, unhappy about that because they think that the, the place to worship is Samaria. So there's some kind of small-minded, you know, local, uh, hey, we're the greatest type stuff going on here. God's plan was not that. God's plan was for Jesus to die in Jerusalem. In fact, he even says in one place, how can a per prophet perish outside Jerusalem? And so there's this this attitude and then the disciples are kind of down on the Samaritans to begin with. You know, the, the Samaritans were hated as kind of a bunch of bad guys and apostates. And so uh, they say, hey, should we just ask for fire to come down and burn them up? Jesus said, no, that's not the mission. You're, you're, you're off the plan. That's not the mission here. Jesus simply uh, accepts that they've sort of blocked him and he goes on down to the next town. They didn't know what spirit they were of. And there's warnings in this part of our passages that we're studying. Warnings about this kind of narrow, sectarian, it's just us, it's us versus the world, and that's a bad deal. Jesus is not for that. They didn't know what spirit they were. By the way, if you go back to that case back from 1 Kings 18 that, that they're, they're quoting from, you know, hey, let's take that and use that today. That was, that was all Israel. That was God's people. And they had all the false prophets in the mix. And then they, they had to choose which side they were on, the true people. And they're going to apply this to Samaritans who are kind of outsiders with kind of a messed up understanding of their religious faith, but not necessarily all opposed to God's people. So this is this is sad that we have this situation here. It's sad that the disciples didn't realize that they were completely out of God's spirit. Uh, may the Lord help us to be careful what spirit we are of, even as we're zealously doing his work. Let's pray. Father in heaven, please be our leader. Please bless the spirit that we are of. May it be your Holy Spirit. Lord, we want to be right and we can see here that these disciples were not right. And Lord, help us to contemplate what your decision is, what your plan for us is, with your spirit in our heart and mind. And we ask in Jesus' name for your help in this. Amen. So friends, may the Lord be our leader. May our spirit be his spirit. God be with you today.